1443 in an area most uncouth. There lived a boy called Harold, a shy and sensitive youth, a very shy and sensitive youth. Oh, I know a gal and her name is Hillary. Took her for a walk down by the distillery. Put her in the club and they put me in the pillory. Poor old Harry Slackbeck. <laughs> <laughs> That over there, that's a lovely bit of muffin, eh? Oh, all that meat and no potatoes, eh? <laughs> oh, Gordy, I say, can Meg come out to play? No, <laughs> three farthings. Three farthings? Well, we've only had 12 pints. Blimey, I thought your Squire Reef was going to start pegging prices. You leave Squire Reef alone. He's promised to take me for a sail in his boat tonight. You want to watch him, girl? You get halfway across Broadstairs Bay and he'll run out of wind. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's something he'll never do. You're just <laughs> jealous! Cos you don't know no nobles. Don't know no nobles! <laughs> my sister got Earl coming round this evening. I bet he's not a builder, Dill. He will be if my old man catches him. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Harry. Yeah? Is he entitled to bare arms? Oh, yeah, bare arms, bare legs, bare anything he likes. <laughs> right. I can't stand here all day long. I shall repair to my chamber. Why, has the handle come off, has it? <laughs> 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 What's up with him? Yeah, you don't take your notice of him. He got no sense of humour. They hanged his father this morning. Here, Harry. Yeah. You coming up a Justin tournament tonight? No, all them Justin tournaments are all fixed tonight. Now look here, Lord Walton. I don't care what Lord Walton of Kent says. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> them tournaments are all fixed. Look. The other night, I went up Kenilworth, I seen the Kenilworth Crusher versus the Black Knight, didn't I? Yeah. Now, there's two falls each. Yeah. Then the Knight sticks his pipe up Crusher's queer ass, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> then the Crusher kicks him in the codpiece <laughs> and wins by a submission in the fifth. I tell you, I seen the same jousting tournament three weeks ago down Windsor. They're all fixed, mate. Well. Yeah, cop them two over there, eh? Oh, lovely grub. Yeah. Right. What? I don't think much of mine. <laughs> <laughs> now, there you go. You see, you're jumping to conclusions again, aren't you? That's the only exercise you ever get. <laughs> Look, you're assuming... You're assuming that the attractive one of them two will go for the attractive one of us two. No, I think she'll go for you, mate. <laughs> I've got a human being for the same price. Good night. All right, darling. Hello, love. Hey, going on, all right, eh? Yeah, how'd you like to be May Queen this year? I can fix it for you. I know Lord Morley and the judges. You must be out of your medieval mind. I'd like to be May Queen! <laughs> it must be a face. It's got ears on it. <laughs> I was Miss Bunstopper last year. That don't surprise me. <laughs> My mum says I've got the kind of face that turns men's heads. You don't do their stomachs any good, either. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the figure of a 19-year-old girl! Well, give it back! You'll get it all wrinkled! <laughs> oh, but here, listen, I'll tell you what, darling, your fancy little dance, let's go up the village green and have a jig round the maypole. Or the Omen Colonial, if you prefer. I don't yeah, he'll serenade you. He can sing. <laughs> he can sing and play the lute. Go on, Harry, give him a song. <laughs> they don't hear me sing. We do! No, you don't hear me sing. Come on! No, you don't hear me sing. Oh, all right, then, if you don't... If you really want to hear me sing, then that's up to you. All right, all right, then, here we go. Squire Pitt locked his wife in a chastity belt, then climbed up on his horse. But he left the key with the footman, lest he was killed in the wars. Up at the window he saw the footman, a waving frantically. He said, Squire Pitt, this key doesn't fit, and he said, you're telling me. Oh, monkeys, flunkeys, half a ton of stew, brown tits, blue tits, a little cock or two. Isn't that a dainty dish to set before the... Charming, isn't it? Isn't that a lovely dish? Please sing me. Yeah, Sam. Yeah? I've been looking for a boy like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You've got a musical bent. A musical bent what? <laughs> You've got talent. Those hands will one day find gold. And by the look of your nails, you've started digging already. already. <laughs> Just stick by me and I'll make you top troubadour of the country. All you need is a group of glee singers with putting face and haircuts, a sack butt, a viola pisicoto, and not to mention a quadrille. <laughs> a quadrille? I said not to mention a quadrille. I'm sorry. <laughs> and pretty soon you'll be rich. 
Half a man, what do you get out of it? 50% of the loot. Oh, you're not cutting my loot in half. <laughs> Oi, vey. On his benefactor led the way, he followed cheerfully. But found that fame and fortune did not come easily. Off you go. Right out, Sir Lou. <laughs> she is so fine, she is so fair, I'd follow my lady anywhere. <laughs> my life. It shouldn't happen to two dogs. <laughs> One dog couldn't handle it. <laughs> like I showed you. Oh, I saw that. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, hello, my, uh, my name is uh, Harris Sickman. Uh -huh, uh -huh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and my leg keeps going like that. Uh -huh. I don't know my phone. I go like this. She is so fine, she is so fine, she is so fine. I've got a lot of my lady all the way to Memphis. And anywhere. Oh, yeah. That's good. And look, don't forget that sullen, underprivileged look. And the yodel. Here. And the kick in the air. Strut. <laughs> now, not too manly, though. Sorry. <laughs> and whatever you do, don't comb your hair. And pretty soon you'll be ready for the big time. <sighs> so Harold and his minstrel group, they travelled far and wide. They sang in bars and coffee shops around the countryside. And then at last that moment, they knew what they were done. When they took the bill that Sunday night at the London Underneath the wind, the chair is a fire. The chair is a fire.